All right, then, here we go. More Warzone solos. This time, I've got a really interesting round. I recorded this pretty late at night. It was about 11 p.m., so no live commentary on this one today, but I'm just going to talk it through with you because I decided to do the solo meta. Um, we're talking trucks, positioning, and just generally trying to cheese a win because I don't normally do it, but I wanted to see why people do it. And, um, well, you're going to see why people do it in this video. But um, we've landed military. Check out this guy. <laughs> the poor lad. I mean, he's a default skin, so he might not have been the best level in the game. He might be new. You never know. But um, thanks very much for that bit of entertainment. But yeah, I'm trying to go for the truck here. And someone else has dropped in another bunker. And here's our first predicament. I didn't get the truck. Which is obviously not, not a great start when you've got no explosives to, to combat the truck. But the guy got out of it for some reason. And I had the FFAR, so I immediately won the gunfight. Basically, anything in sort of like 20, 30, maybe 40 meters worth of range, the ground loot FFAR is incredibly good. Incredibly good. So now I steal the truck, which is obviously the main play. That's what you want. And this guy... I'm not sure what he thought he was doing. I think he only had a pistol. I think he must have known. <laughs> that uh, that was going to be his point of going to the gulag. Unfortunate for him, of course, but, um, you know, that is the first of many squishes in this uh, video you're going to see today. But, yeah, I pick up all of his gear. In fact, no, he didn't just have a pistol. He just had his pistol out, so it looked like that's what he had. Truck is exactly what you want in these situations. Early game, you basically just have a rolling fortress. You just protect yourself constantly. People need explosives to even do any kind of proper damage to you. You can get sniped out of them. If somebody's good with a sniper, you can get shot out the windows. But um, in general, this is the best way to start a solos match. There, I've just spotted somebody off in the distance. It's actually somebody that was on the minimap earlier. Um, but obviously, a ping only lasts a certain amount of time in, in Warzone, so I didn't actually know where he was, but... Either this was the same guy, or it was different. I mean, the ping was 60 meters away, and uh, then suddenly a different guy appeared right here. But that's the second squish of this round. <laughs> People just don't know what to do when you drive at them with a truck. And like I say, this it feels a bit cheap for me to be doing this, because, like, I mean, at this point in the game, no one's got their load out. I mean, somebody might have an RPG, and that might be the way to, to kill me, but you might have noticed there's a guy up here. He was just on that concrete wall in front of me. Here's some footsteps. Use the deadie. Now, I didn't realise that was going to happen. I got quite lucky there, I will admit. Because I ran past the flag cap, because obviously I picked up a contract early game. I always try and do uh, recon contracts at the moment, so I know where to position myself. But I ran straight past the activation for it, which obviously set off exactly where I was for that player. And he had the high ground, like he could have held me on a better position there. He peaked quite a lot with his head. And again, FFAR, so many bullets downrange so quickly, all pretty much into the top part of his chest or into his head. That guy went down really, really fast. I spotted somebody over by the buy station here. I'm not sure he realises the uh, severity of his current situation. Poor lad. Looked like he... Uh, stood very still at that buy station for a very long time. And once again, I'm not trying to say he's a bad player, but maybe he's just a new player. Because if that was me, especially in that buy station location out in the middle of the lake, I'd want to be moving as quickly as possible. I would not want to be hanging around. Unfortunately, this guy has a red access key card, which is fantastic for me because all I've got to do is quickly go back up the hill and open that bunker just around the corner. So you might see me do these bunkers a lot in uh, in matches with the guys when I play in like trios and quads. Imagine how powerful these bunkers are in solos. Okay, so we've got 10k, uh, 15k, 17, 19, is that 20, 21, 22, a little bit more, accidentally picks up a Milano, definitely don't want to do that. A little bit more money, a bit more money. And then what do we get here? An advanced UAV. 
I was kind of hoping it was Foresight, if I'm honest with you. Kind of hoping it was going to be Foresight, but uh, we get the advanced UAV. I haven't tapped it yet because, you know, I've got a normal UAV up, but I have already spotted some players down to the south over here. And we'll hop in the truck and, uh, you know, find out where they are. So the guy's right down the bottom of the hill on the loadouts, on that marker there. I think you might have just caught him when I unscoped. Unfortunately, I didn't see him the first time uh, he looked at me. But he's got a burst fire weapon, which means if he gets a triple headshot on me, it's all over. And it's all over for him. But to be fair, like, I wasn't in a great position there. Nearly gets run over by his truck. <laughs> I've seen somebody in the end game get run over by their truck after they downed somebody because they ran over to them and started, you know, dip dipping potato chipping on them. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it got him killed. So I guess that's something you shouldn't do. But, um, yeah, I mean, he put down a pretty good fight. I, I could have actually taken some serious damage there. Luckily, his aim wasn't that brilliant in the position that, uh, that he was in. And so I ended up taking advantage with the RW3. Slammed him in the head with a bullet. Now, the reason I've hopped out over here is there was some fighting going on over at the white building. This is me just sort of checking it out. Stopping on this hill is sometimes a good idea, sometimes a bad idea. And this is why. Unfortunately, another truck rolls up on me. And he kind of then misreads the situation because I've already got back in the truck and he's starting to slow down, which was kind of the wrong move, I think. But um, he starts following me. I've had enough. I'm just out of there. He's edge of zone there on the top of that hill, which makes him a pretty heavy target for anybody coming in from behind. So, in actuality, that guy on that far hill has just done me a favour <laughs> because he's pushed me off a worse position and pushed me over to a better position because I'm now on the hill that's deeper in the circle. I'm just parking this truck right up against the tree so it doesn't roll away because that does happen quite a lot in Warzone. And I really don't know why he stopped in the middle of the bridge. Every time I kill... I, when I kill some of these players, I do wonder what they thought was going to happen. Like, if you stop in the middle of that bridge and you peek the left-hand side of your truck, which is in full vision of where I'm standing, because you already know I've got out of my truck, because that's the reason you got out of yours. But why, why did you bother? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what was going through his head, but... I have taken some shots up here from the hill, so there was another player up here. But again, I've got the truck on my side, so it doesn't matter too much that, uh, he, that I, he put shots down. As you'll see again here, the truck is slowly rolling towards me. And then I take another shot from a different angle, not that guy that I was shooting down there. So, at least for the time being, this guy gets, uh, gets a free pass as I try and move around and figure out where that bullet came from. I always had the advantage because I've got this complete rolling wagon of armor. You might have noticed the player there. He was on the hill just behind the, the uh, just behind the bridge. There you go. You saw his feet running over by the pine tree on the right hand side. There you go. Just went behind the rock. People wonder how I see these things. 1440p, wide field of view, and paying a lot of attention. <laughs> I do lean in towards my screen sometimes. So we've got other shots coming from the White House now. We've got a truck nearby. Other people rolling around in the truck, obviously. I'm not sure if this guy wants a piece of the old, of the old Westie, but I go back up the hill. Again, height is really good cover in Warzone as well, if you ever play solos. Height is good cover. This is me here just making sure I'm ready to go for the next gunfight. He still just moved from that position that he was in. We'll see if we can get an angle on him. There we go. Third attempt, we get him. So we didn't end up getting the guy that was hiding on the rocks. We got someone else that was ending up shooting him. And what gave him away was the tracers there. Because if he hadn't had tracers on his gun, I probably wouldn't have noticed where that guy died. And I wouldn't have looked in that direction. But fortunately, he was using ridiculously bright colored tracers on his gun. And that gave everything away. Playing a little bit of cat and mouse. <laughs> I 
This guy. I, I don't know if he's been hiding there the entire time, but hey, whatever. We have to move the truck quickly because the train. Oh, that was close. I did that as if it was live. <laughs> if, uh, if I'd have left that a second later, that train would have uh, had my truck for breakfast and probably would have dealt a huge amount of damage to me as well. So uh, very, very lucky that I got that out of the way. 17 players left. We're on the outside of the next circle, which I think is a good space to be. Because there's lots of people in and around those buildings in there. And that's just close quarter central. That's where you're going to get killed by a Mac 10 And that's not fun. So um, I think we're in a good position on the outside of the circle. And you'll see me reposition for, uh, for when the circle starts to collapse. But Senor Bushwookie is back. <laughs> and we get our, what, fourth squish of the match? I think that's the fourth one. But um, he clearly just... I don't know if he came back from the gulag. I don't know if that was a different guy. I think it might have been a different guy because... But I don't even know. I've gone past the point where I can look at the score feed now or the kill feed. So I don't know if it's the same person or not. But it doesn't matter because the truck is helping. So we've now only got nine players left. And you'll see the circle just collapsed here. For the sixth circle. And actually, I'm in the best position I think possible. I spot this guy over the far side. He's gone. LW3, man, it's just so satisfying to get sniper kills with. But yeah, I think I've pretty much taken up the best position I can. And this is me just making sure the truck is in the perfect position that I can pull away if I need to. Or also uh, keep it in the circle so it doesn't get hit by the gas and then blown up by accident. So at this point, I'm literally just surveying the, the land as we go along. And that was pretty dirty. Got to admit, that was pretty dirty. That guy must have started moving as I shot and walked into my bullet. And it just cracked him in the skull. But yeah, I'm just surveying this really open bit of land here. Because I know people have got across it. And as you can see here, that results in me getting... I think another kill? Takes me more bullets than I would like. But I get the kill in the end. And I know there's another guy over there because he was shooting at somebody. And there he is. The Fafar coming in to melt people. I take a snipe there. I think a snipe comes in from somebody there. But, um... Yes, it does. A snipe did come in from somebody there. There you go. There's the, there's the follow-up. And I don't actually know where that snipe came from when it hit me. Hey, he must be a good player. He's the, uh, he's, uh, the last one apart from me in the circle. It's just me versus him. I leave the truck at this point. No longer going to need that. I technically have a really good position because I can use the outside walls here. And there we go. We get the win with the FFAR, the LW3, and of course, the Big Bertha truck primary weapon in Warzone. Yeah, it felt pretty cheesy to use the truck, I'm not going to lie. But I can see why so many people use it in solos because it's ridiculously powerful. You can reposition on people really quickly. And you, you, it's just a rolling fortress. It, it, it protects you so much more than any other playstyle in Warzone right now. I don't think trucks should actually be in solos, but hey, what do I know? But thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the solo, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one.